everyone and welcome back to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and we're back in the Keller kitchen today. So what are we making? Well, I decided since it's summertime and we like to do a lot of grilling that I would get a cookbook on how to grill everything. So it basically starts out with simple things and moves on up. Now one of the things it talks about here is doing direct and indirect fire. Um, in case you don't know what that is, a direct fire is where you put something right over the fire or the coals, depending on if you're using a gas or a coal burning grill. Um, and an indirect is where basically the fire would be on one side and the food would be cooking on another. So the fire would be there to warm the grill, but not necessarily right underneath of the food. So today we're gonna to do something with a direct fire. So this goes directly over the flame on your grill. Very important that you make sure that your grill is clean before you do this, okay? So first of all, you're gonna need two baguettes or Italian bread loaf. Um, and I'm just gonna cut the ends off of these because you want the bread to be exposed on both sides. So I'm gonna cut just these ends off and leave those to go. Now in this he says that you can cut these thick or you can cut them thin depending on you, how you want them. If they're thick, then they'll be crunchy on the outside and still soft on the inside. If you cut them thin, then they'll be crunchy all the way through. I kind of like the crunchy on the outside with the soft on the inside. So I'm gonna cut mine pretty thick, okay? And so you're just gonna cut some pieces of bread. And by the way, in case I didn't say, this is bruschetta, this is what we're making. All right. So as I get this cut, we'll be right back and I'll explain the rest of what we're gonna do. Okay, you guys, so once you have the bread cut and see I did some nice and thick slices, I did have a few, that I did a little bit thinner. You're just gonna take some olive oil and you're gonna brush both sides of the bread with the olive oil and that's it. And then you're gonna stick it on the grill. Um, and you wanna make sure, of course, you warm your grill up first. See if it gives us a temperature. Nope, it just says to use a direct fire, so. You're just basically baking toast, so you're only gonna cook this for about one to three minutes on each side. So after I get these all brushed with oil, we'll be back and I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so once you have both sides of the bread nice and oiled, you wanna turn your grill on and get it warmed up. I think ours is already doing that. Then while the grill is warming up, you wanna go ahead and get your stuff ready for what you're gonna put on top of the bruschetta when it is done. So once it is done cooking, you're gonna take some a garlic clove and just rub it over both sides of the bread. The garlic clove needs to be peeled and all of that and ready to go. So you're gonna rub it over both sides of the bread. And then you can put pretty much anything on top of this that you want. You can chop up a tomato and put that on top of it. Um, I have some ham and cheese and turkey that you can put on top of it. And basically just make yourself a nice little crunchy one loaf sandwich. Or you could probably put one on top of the other, but trying to get these into your mouth will probably have a hard time. So we'll get these on the grill and I'll show you how we cook them. Be right back. Okay, you guys. So now we're just going to take these and set them on here. You're only going to cook them for about one to three minutes on each side. Just want to make sure it's toast. Um, and then, you know, over right over the flames. Now ours is on low, so of course you can't see the flames very well, but they are under there. Okay. All right, so as soon as we're ready to uh, turn these over, We'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to just flip these over. See those nice little grill marks on there? They're getting nice and toasted. All right. Go ahead and flip. Some of these look like they might need to cook a little bit longer on that side. That's okay. It says until just until they're getting grill marks. So, all right. You can tell which ones are directly over the fires which ones are a little bit not directly over the fires. Okay. So we'll give these another couple minutes and then they'll be ready to serve up. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now the other side is nice and done. We're gonna go ahead and put these out on the tray and then we'll just give it, it just says to let it cool just enough to where you can handle them and we'll rub some garlic on them. So I'll be back once we do that. Okay, so now that they're a little bit cool enough to handle, it says just to rub the garlic around on the outside. 
I'm guessing this is supposed to leave some um, garlic flavor on them. And then you just stack them with whatever you want on them. We've got some tomatoes and some ham and some cheese to put on ours. Um, you can pretty much put anything on it that you want. And that's about it, you guys. So this would be bruschetta on the grill. And it looks delicious. And uh, I think that's it for tonight. All right, you guys. Everybody have a good night or a good day, whichever way, way you're watching this. And enjoy cooking. And we'll see you later. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks. Bye.